Hello, welcome to Dr. Red Prism here, and today I'm going to be talking to you a, bit, a little bit about vitamin B3, otherwise known as niacin. Okay, so right up here, the title Vitamin B3. Right in brackets, niacin. Okay, so we'll start off with the function of, of, of this particular vitamin. Okay, so, so, so one of its main functions is the actual production of sex or stress hormones. Sex slash stress hormones. Okay, okay, so first of all we might as well like to discuss what is well, what is the actual structure of a hormone comprised of. Well a hormone is is basically an example of, of a protein molecule. Um so, so for example a stress hormone might be adrenaline, which which is a, a hormone that's secreted when you're stressed to bring to bring about a number of effects in the body such as dilation of pupils and um, like in your eyes and it may uh, and it also like, uh, makes your hair hair on your skin stand up on end and, and become erect, um, but, which is via your erector pili muscle. Um, you have your sex hormones such as, um, like, like for women, it might be estrogen, FSH, follicle stimulating hormone, um, LH, luteinizing hormone. There's, there's, there's a lot of different sexual hormones that this can be this can be sort of uh, like associated with and involved in the production of. Um, it also helps in the circulatory system. So helps circulation, um, which which obviously is is, for, is very important for the, from the body to actually prevent to actually like, pro, like keep certain body parts alive almost because because like supposing there was no blood flow to a particular area that that body part might end up rotting away like, like there are certain conditions where where blood flow is restricted and you can actually lose a limb or a particular body part because of that. Um, the other thing the other thing obviously obviously a like, lot like about every every type of, of vitamin B is that they are they are water soluble which means you have to have to actually consume them sort of on a regular basis like, like you you expel them in your urine um, so, so, so for this particular type of vitamin you, you can actually get it from, from from something known as tryptophan which, which is which is a, which is an, an essential amino acid um, so right up here tryptophan is a source of it so so you don't actually need to get this vitamin from the diet because as long as you have tryptophan in your diet, you can actually your body can manufacture the, the vitamin B3 or niacin actually from that. Um, and and, and, and as, you, as you'd expect, well, like tryptophan, like because it's an example of amino acid, because an amino acid is a monomer of a protein, your, your body like contains protease enzymes which convert proteins and actually break them down to these amino acids, like such as tryptophan and stuff. So, so so you can actually get them from like eating foods which contain protein, which are obviously fish your eggs and, and meat and stuff like that um, uh, and you can also get it from like soy if you're vegetarian um, uh, okay so whereabouts, whereabouts like can you get this vitamin from as you'd expect like meats and things like that um, right okay so we discussed the function of it right so, okay so who's at risk from it well the alcoholics are at risk from it again um, as you'd expect this is pretty much the same with every with every like type of vitamin B alcoholics are a high risk group um, uh, okay, so, so so like right, right. So you got excess here. Okay, so, so there's a few things that can happen if you have too much of it, which are it can lead to head headaches. Um, it can also lead to like dizziness, dizziness, and it can lead to blurred vision. Um, all of what you don't want, obviously. Um, but th but then assuming you don't have enough, this is known as def is deficiency. Um. If you don't, if you don't have enough of this vitamin, it can lead to fatigue, vomiting, uh, depression, cracked skin, and diarrhoea. Um, so right down there, like diarrhoea, because that's an awkward spelling, and cracked skin. Okay. Um, what what you, you start noticing with a lot of these, well, a lot of these vitamin Bs is that they can actually lead to lead to like diarrhoea as a sort of minor, as a sort of minor like deficiency effect. It it, it can get a lot more serious than that. You can actually. Like eventually die from like having heart problems from particular deficiencies of these particular vitamin Bs. Um, the reason why I'm saying vitamin B sort of collectively is because it, it's because there's specific ones that can lead lead to these particular conditions. But but like diarrhea is quite a common condition with with like vitamin vitamin B deficiency in general. Um, whereas, whereas there are far more serious things as I've just mentioned like heart heart disease and stuff you can actually get from from particular vitamin B. Like deficiencies, as you'll discover in my sort in my subsequent videos after this one. Okay, so you got diarrhea, got cracked skin. And then you can also have depression, which obviously, oh, all these things are really horrible. So if you have too much of it, 
uh, if you have, have too little of these things you should be aware of that, that you, it can actually lead to. Um, uh, okay, okay, so, right, so whereabouts can you get this from? As I mentioned before, you get it from all these protein type foods, so I'll list a few of those for you. So you have tuna, salmon, liver, and you can even get it from peanuts actually, because they're a good source of protein as well. Okay, so uh, okay, okay, so how much of this vitamin do we actually need? Right, so for men it's 16 milligrams, and for women it's 14 milligrams. N n now, I'm sure a lot, of, a lot of you aren't actually aware what a milligram is. Well, there's actually a thousand milligrams in a gram, which means that if we move the decimal point three places to the left, it's a thousand times smaller. You actually get, yes, yeah, right. So you get 0 0.016 grams. This is, and this is 0 0.014 grams. Look, look, just to give you sort of an insight into how small that really is. So you don't need a lot of this vitamin. Is the main point. It's the main point from that. All you, all you need to do is like make, make sure you continue eating these protein type foods. Um, you are, you're supposed to actually consume, you consume them proteins on a daily basis because, as I've already mentioned, this particular, pretty much every type of vitamin B actually is a water soluble vitamin, which means, which means like because it's expelled in your urine, you need to actually consume it on a regular basis, almost on a daily basis. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed.